Another hotly contested race is in the 14th congressional district, pitting Democratic incumbent Lauren Underwood against Republican challenger Jim Over Overweiss. WGN's Patrick Elwood covering this one for us. He's live in Aurora. Pat? Ben and Lawrence, good evening to you on this election day, election night for that matter. We're here outside the Hampton Inn. Jim Oberweiss will be holding a limited gathering, 25 people or less, invite only. Uh, Laura Underwood is all virtual tonight. And in terms of the big picture, kind of keeping with the theme of this election year, turnout in the 14th is out or is up big time. Incumbent Lauren Underwood unseated a four-term Republican to win the 14th in 2018. A political newcomer who holds a degree in nursing, she worked in health care policy for the Obama administration. She was the first female and person of color to win the 14th, which runs from Chicago suburbs to the Wisconsin state line, including parts of McHenry, Lake, DuPage, Kane, Kendall, and Will Counties. Her 2018 victory was part of a bigger congressional Democrat surge in the aftermath of Trump's 2016 win. But she has been cautious in not aligning herself with any left-leaning House advocacy groups. Her campaign this time has focused on the president's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. She's 34 years old and lives in Naperville. Her opponent, Jim Oberweiss, is 74. He resides in Sugar Grove. Oberweiss owns a very successful business in the form of Oberweiss Dairy. He is currently a member of the Illinois Senate, representing the 25th District since 2013. He has run unsuccessfully, though, for the 14th House seat, the U.S. Senate twice, and for governor. He is closing his campaign by accusing Underwood of being soft on crime. Just yesterday, Oberweiss appeared at the president's rally in Kenosha, receiving Trump's endorsement, the president calling him a great businessman who will uphold Second Amendment rights and protect the district from the radical left. Today, we caught up to voters in DuPage County casting their ballots. Sarah is voting for the first time. Jeff is a veteran of Election Day. It was enough to make me vote this year. That high stakes, huh? Yeah. Definitely high stakes. It feels patriotic to me just to uh, be able to, you know, live in a country where we're free to vote and I want to vote on the day I'm assigned to vote. In voter turnout we are hearing in DuPage and Will Counties could be record setting. We'll keep tabs. Reporting live from Aurora, Patrick Elwood, WGN News. Back to you guys in the studio.